Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have given their children a choice that the children of Kate and William are not permitted to, according to a PR expert. Kate, officially joined the royal family in April 2011 upon marrying Prince William, and the couple has gone on to have three children together. Their eldest son Prince George is third in line to the throne, after his father and grandfather. Eight-year-old George is joined by Princess Charlotte, six- and three-year-old Prince Louis marks the latest child for the couple. After the birth of each child, William and Kate have been photographed on the hospital steps showing off the latest addition to the royal family. While the children don't often appear at public engagements, the children do make appearances at some events on the royal family's calendar. Often the kids can be spotted waving from the balcony of Buckingham Palace for the Queen's annual Trooping the Colour event, and royal watchers have also caught glimpses of the youngsters as they attended church at Sandringham over the festive period. In addition, royal fans can often gain glimpses into the lives of the children through comments and anecdotes shared by their parents at events or appearances. William and Kate's children are also quite visible to the public, as images, often taken by the Duchess of Cambridge, are released to mark milestones for their three children. The latest of which was for George's eighth birthday in July, where the young prince showed off a toothy grin as he sits on the hood of a navy blue Land Rover Defender, an off-road vehicle beloved by his late great-grandfather Prince Philip. The sweet image was shared by the Cambridge's social media account, our usual custom for such images, alongside the caption turning eight. Tomorrow and two emojis, a birthday cake and a face with a trumpet and a party hat. While Meghan and Harry on the other hand have shared very few images of their firstborn Archie. Also since the birth of their daughter Lilibet, who turns one in June, the couple has released only one image of the young royal baby. However, Kinsey Schofield, a PR expert and the founder of Los Angeles-based royals site today for daily.com claims that while it may differ from their own approach to their children, Harry and Meghan don't frown on Kate and William's actions. She told Express.co.uk, I don't think that they frown on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's strategy when it comes to showcasing their children because Prince Harry specifically understands that the Cambridge children have much different futures than his own. This is because George, Charlotte and Louis hold the third, fourth and fifth places respectively in the royal family's line of succession. Harry ranks in the sixth spot, with Archie in seventh and Lilibet in the eighth. Kinsey Schofield, who has worked in public relations for over 10 years, has drawn on her experience in the industry to claim that the world feels more connected to the Cambridge children, as they see them grow up. She said, it is important that Prince William and Catherine's children grow up in front of the world because the world will feel more connected to them if they do so. However, she claims the same factor is not important to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who reside in the US after stepping away from duties. She claims that Archie, too, and Lilibet have a choice to be public figures unlike their cousins. She said, that is not important to Harry and Meghan. They want their children to make the choice of whether or not they become public figures. Despite their young age, George and his sister Princess Charlotte have already started learning how they should act and what their lives will look like once they are older. A source told Closer Weekly, William and Kate have already talked to George and Charlotte about their future roles, but in a childlike way so that they understand without feeling overwhelmed. George knows there's something special about him and that one day he'll be the future King of England. According to The Insider, the Duke and Duchess have been explaining these future roles like a storybook to the children, in order to keep things fun and to stop the children becoming overwhelmed.